You might have seen my video of winning Google Kickstart Round A, and you might have no idea what's going on. If you haven't seen it, be sure to check it out. The video will probably appear somewhere on the screen, and I will also provide a link in the description. Competitive programming, or CP for short, is a mind sport where participants need to write programs to solve well-defined problems. Those problems are often related to algorithms, data structures, math, and logic. The programs of the contestants are judged by many different factors, including how much time the programs take and how much memory the programs use. There are many benefits to doing CP, which I'll describe later. If you don't completely understand what I just said, then that's okay. I'll show you a really simple example of a problem right now. Here, we have a problem where we are asked to compute the sum of two integers. So the input that we're given is two integers. And A is the first integer, and B is the second integer. And we're supposed to return the sum of the two integers. And this should be pretty simple for anyone who has a bit of programming experience. So if we go to the code here, uh, we just need to type return A plus B. And that'll solve the problem. And to check if our program is correct, we'll submit this program and it will be judged against a few test cases to see if the program is correct. And our program got accepted and yeah, so that's great. And this is a very simple example and the actual problems you see in CP will be much harder than this. Basically for each problem, you need to write a program that takes in some input and process the, processes the input and outputs the answer. By the way, if you want to try this out yourself, this site is called HackerRank and it's one of the well-known sites for CP. Also, I used C++ in this example, but you can use any language to solve CP problems like Java or Python. Now in contests, you basically have a bunch of these problems that you need to solve. The contestants are generally ranked by the number of problems that they solve, the time that they take to solve those problems, and the number of incorrect attempts that they make. I'll explain the scoring for this code versus contest briefly. In this contest, there are six problems from A to F, and each problem has a maximum score shown at the top. So problem A has a maximum score of 500, and problem E has a maximum score of 2,500. After each minute of the contest, the scores of the problems decrease by a small fraction. As you can see here, I solved the problem A within the first minute of the contest, so the score did not decrease at all and I got the full 500 points for this problem. I solved problem F much later in the contest, so my score for problem F is much lower than the maximum score for problem F. Lastly, your total score is just the sum of your scores for the individual problems and contestants are ranked according to the scores. So now I will go over the benefits of doing CP. First of all, doing CP helps you prepare for coding interviews for major companies like FANG, which stands for Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Netflix, and Google. Questions that are asked in coding interviews are basically just easy to medium level CP problems. And that's why you see many of the top competitive programmers ending up with a job at these companies. The second benefit, which only applies to secondary school students, is Olympiads. Informatics Olympiads are basically just CP contests for high school students. Each country has a national contest and a training camp. For example, the USA has the USA Computing Olympiad. Each country ultimately selects four students to represent their country in the International Olympiad in Informatics. Obtaining a medal in the International Olympiad in Informatics is a huge boost. 
for applying to certain prestigious universities. Some countries even have rules which will guarantee your admission to those universities. If you represent Taiwan and obtain a medal, for example, you're guaranteed admission to National Taiwan University, which is basically the best university in Taiwan. Lastly, CP is fun. I consider CP to be no different than any other eSport, so that's why you may have noticed I set the category of my channel to games. I just love the feeling of satisfaction when I piece together the final part of a problem, code and submit my program, and see the green accepted status on my program after hours of hard work. During contests, I love the rush of adrenaline as I race time to innovate solutions for the problems presented before me. For me, the tiny green status ignites exhilaration that an athlete and their fans would experience after a goal. If you are interested in competitive programming, then be sure to subscribe as I'll be posting more information about how you can start competitive programming. I also have a Discord server and the link is in the description below. I will be posting solutions to various contests on the server and you can also discuss CP with other members on the server. And that's basically it. Thanks for watching.